if you're making an action game or something otherwise dramatic, nothing makes you feel more like a badass than going into slow motion and pulling off something awesome. I mean, this effect was so important in Breath of the Wild that it was included in the earliest reveal from 2014, three years before the game even shipped. In this video, I'll show you how to add this effect to your own game, which you can use to slow things down or even speed up the action. Let's move over to Unity. One of the first things I add to any project is a game manager. I use this to keep track of important variables throughout my game. I do this using what's called a singleton pattern. It allows me to create a single static instance of my game manager, meaning I can access its values from anywhere I want in any script. I do this in just a few lines of code. When the game manager is awake, check to see if we already have a game manager. If we don't, let's use this one and make it the game manager. If we already have one, then just kill this one and move on like nothing happened. Now all we need on the game manager right now is a float called speed. Set it to 1 for now. Now in the player's movement code, all we have to do is multiply their velocity by the game manager's speed. Because we use that fancy singleton thing, we can access the speed with just a single line of code. Game manager .instance .speed. If you hit play, you might notice that the player moves slower or faster when we adjust the speed, which is exactly what we want. Unfortunately, the animation plays at its usual speed, which looks kind of silly. To fix this, let's start by going into the player's animator and add a new parameter called game speed. Set it to 1. On each animation, check the box for Use Multiplier, and be sure that it is set to that game speed variable that we just added. To make this work, we need to put in some code that ties that game speed value to the game manager speed. The thing is, we'll need to put that code on any object that we want to speed up or slow down. We could go take a look at every prefab that's got an animation that needs to be affected by speed, and open every script and access every animator and tell it to set the speed, or we can take advantage of Unity's component system to make something that we can easily add to any object. Make a new script called AnimSpeed. AnimSpeed needs to get the object's animator component, and then an update, set the animator's game speed value to whatever our current game speed is. That's it. We can now add this single script to any object that we want to slow down or speed up, and the object's animation speed will change accordingly. Besides the cool action game stuff, slowing down or speeding up the game can be extremely useful for testing and debugging, as well as making the game easier or harder. I use this exact code for both of those reasons in my game Pluto vs. the World. Hopefully you find it as useful as I do. If you do, mash that subscribe button because we're gamers and we love seeing pointless numbers increase. Also, consider joining the Aggressive Combustion Discord, following us on Twitter, and checking us out on Twitch. Thanks so much for watching.